Bom dia, buenos dias, and good morning, guys, from the city of Foz to Iguazu, here in the western edge of Brazil, one of the most interesting places of this massive country. This city lies in a triple frontier with Argentina and Paraguay, one of the most mis mysterious countries of Latin America, one of the least visited countries of Latin America. And yes, this city and this region of Brazil, Argentina and Paraguay is famous for the magical Iguazu Falls, which are shared between the border of Brazil and Argentina. And I visited them yesterday. Now though, it's time to say goodbye to Brazil for now and head to a new country, the first new country of 2024. And we're gonna do it on foot. Let's check out the least visited country of South America and one of the least visited countries of Latin America. Let's check out Paraguay, right on the other side of that bridge. Vamos! The city, the Brazilian city of Foz do Iguazu, borders the Argentinian city of Puerto Iguazu to the south and the Paraguayan city of Ciudad del Este to the west, where we are heading to now. And the city we're about to head to now and enter Paraguay also happens to be Paraguay's second largest city of the capital of Asuncion. So, let's check out what the city is all about. And this is the border, guys, by the way. This is the border. This apparently is one of the easiest borders to cross, or even the easiest border to cross in South America. I've been told that normally I won't even get my passport stamped here, and I think it's not even the case, check it out. This is Brazilian migration. We are officially leaving Brazil, guys. And yes, that's because this border here is crossed every day by thousands of Brazilians over to Paraguay, to Ciudad del Este. Because over there in Ciudad del Este, you can buy some very cheap goods, especially tech and electronic goods. Are a lot cheaper over there. And so Brazil and Paraguay have kind of an agreement in place so that you can cross this border without any sorts of migration, you know? And check it out, guys. We are leaving Brazil. Adios, Brazil. Ciao, Brazil. See you soon. We'll be back in a few days. The Brazilian adventure ain't over. But now, Let's check out mysterious Paraguay. I'm now currently crossing the famous international bridge of friendship, which separates, which separates Brazil from Paraguay. And this river does so as well. And according to Google Maps, we've now officially entered Paraguay. Check it out. One thing I can tell you guys about this region of South America, it's flipping beautiful. You should really come here. You should really come here, guys. It's a very interesting place. This triple frontier here, this dry border region between Argentina, Brazil and Paraguay. And so interesting. I think I've rarely crossed, I'm not even sure if I have in my life, crossed an international border on foot. This is the official border. This is where the lands of Brazil and Argentina are separated. Brazil Paraguay. Brazil and Paraguay, sorry, not Argentina. Argentina is that way. 
So yes guys, Paraguayan arm, Brazilian arm, Paraguayan foot, Brazilian foot. Vamos a Paraguay. Finally we can speak Spanish again. Now guys, I'm not sure actually whether there won't be any sort of border control on the other side now at the, at the end of the bridge or whether there will be a border control and I won't get my passport stamped. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I can imagine that there will be a small border control though. But what I know is that when you cross this border on foot it's basically like the Schengen area back in Europe like Brazil and Paraguay have an agreement in place and many other Mercosur countries are in this agreement like you can cross from one Mercosur country to the other by land border without getting your passport stamped basically and not every Mercosur country is participating in this just like in the EU not every countries participating in the Schengen area. But yes, Paraguay and Brazil have an open land border here. Yeah, but there won't be any border checkpoints though. We're about to find out. We've nearly reached the end of the bridge. Check it out. The mysterious country of Paraguay. What do you guys know about Paraguay? Tell me in the comments. Because I don't know a lot about Paraguay. I'm even struggling this morning I was even struggling to think about any footballer from Paraguay. I don't even know a footballer from Paraguay, so yeah. But what I do know about the country is that it's a very interesting one. It is one of the least visited in Latin America and also it is one of the only countries in Latin America that has capped its own indigenous language, Guarani, it's called. And the currency of the country as such is also called Guarani. And apparently 90% of the Paraguayan population are bilingual, speaking both Guarani and Spanish, which is pretty amazing because all the other countries in Latin America are basically just speaking Spanish or like in Brazil Portuguese and are really struggling to speak any other language because they only use Spanish or, or Portuguese you know but here in Paraguay they are bilingual right guys as it seems no border checkpoints between Brazil and Paraguay if you cross this bridge the bridge of friendship check it out guys we've made it to Paraguay and here's a giant Paraguayan flag. Wowzers! Bienvenidos a Paraguay. Hola Paraguay. I never thought I would visit, visit this country, but now I'm here. Wowzers! We've made it to Paraguay. But to go. Right guys, I've learned my first word of Guarani, the indigenous language here of the Paraguayans. And what to go, which means, como estas? How's it going? How are you? So, I've dropped my bag at my hostel, which is within the outskirts of the city. And so, as we don't have a lot of time here in Ciudad del Este, Paraguay's second biggest city, I reckon we should take a bus and head to the downtown and check it out. This country is really small for South American standards. It's only got 6 million people living in it. And so that the last day, with a population of about 400,000 people, 
is the country's second biggest after Asuncion, which has two million people living in it. So the entire country has a population, has half the population of Sao Paulo, which is astonishing. And what is even more astonishing is the fact that the country is bilingual, that they've got their own indigenous language, which, which um, in stark contrast to all the other South American nations is spoken by the entire nation, by 90% of it. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy that a country such as Paraguay, such a mysterious little country, has its own language and, and yeah, a city of only 400,000 people being the second biggest of the country is even more astonishing. So let's head to the centre, to the downtown, let's find the bus stop and let's check it out. Vamos! And guys, my Uber driver before has told me that Warani sounds a bit like Japanese apparently. It's pretty funny, isn't it? How does Japanese sound similar to Warani, the language of this mysterious South American nation? And this small city here, Ciudad del Este, is renowned to be a commercial hub. And as soon as I've crossed the border, like, off camera, like, five people already came up to me wanted to sell me cell phones, drones, because apparently it's like the cheapest place in South America to get, to get electronics and tech stuff, like computers, cell phones, drones, whatever. And quite funnily, guys, fun fact about this city, Taiwan, Taiwan has an embassy here, has a consulate here in Ciudad del Este. We're about to experience what the Paraguayan bus journey looks like. Hola, and here. Check out this beauty, guys. And a ride on it costs 5,000 Guarani, which is like 70 cents in euro or something. Which gives me the chance to show you guys what Guaranis look like. Check it out guys, we've got hundreds, hundred thousand Guarani builds here, which is like 13 euros. That's 5,000 Guaranis. Yeah, I like this boss. It doesn't get more retro than this, in it. Open windows, couldn't be better. I think this could be a really nice adventure. I like it so far. Right guys, we have arrived in the downtown area, or close to it, of Ciudad del Este here. So, let's find a place to eat. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything the whole day, apart from a little powder queijo this morning. But that was like as big as this. So, yeah, I'm super starving. And I could really eat something. So, let's get to the downtown, to the center of Ciudad del Este, the city of the east and see what we can find. But so far, Paraguay, already after like an hour in this country, I can tell you, feels super authentic. Feels like nothing else I've seen before in South America. Not similar to anything. The bus we've just been in was like the most retro I've ever been on. <laughs> Maybe the ones in Lima come close to it, but no, kind of not. Thousands of Brazilians and Argentinians cross the border into this city every day to buy cheap tech, cheap electronics and other goods, which is why 
they've got like a tax-free area here. It's the biggest or one of the biggest tax-free zones in the world. Also an interesting fact about the city. There seems to be a commercial area here. You only find loads of cell phone stores, cell phone stores. Check it out. Loads of electronics. Well, well, media. Okay, Rico. Okay, buffet. Okay, Rico. Which of gracias. So, guys, you've heard the old guys of town. Check out this buffet. Sounds good, if you ask me. Oh man, what a place. And you've also got exchanges, exchange offices everywhere here. Money exchange places. Wow. The city has, by the way, also been put by the US government on a blacklist, on a notorious list, loads of times due to some shady business taking place here, which you can imagine. It's one of the biggest tax-free areas in the world. What do you reckon? Might this be a place for me to buy new shoes? Well, I'll tell you one thing, if I would be flying home next week, or in a few days' time, if this would be the last destination of this trip, then I would buy new clothes here, man. I would buy everything, new shoes, new t-shirts. Because I reckon this is one of the cheapest places, if not the cheapest place in South America where I could find these things. New laptop, probably. But the problem is that this trip is still going on for another few weeks. Let's go. I think here it is. It looks kind of fancy. Did they send me to... They, were... they must have been thinking, oh, it's a gringo. Let's send him to the most expensive place. Well, let's see. It's not an expensive country. The night in my hostel, guys. It's obviously not in the center. It's a bit in the outskirts of the city. But the night in the hostel cost me like six euros. So that's all right. So let's check out what we can have here. Now guys, from a culinary point of view, I have to say it's a great start here to my time in Paraguay. I mean, check it out, man. This very healthy food here. We've got ourselves a salad, some lentils, some beans, some rice, and some chicken, some fried chicken. This very good and decent looking plate here, and healthy plate, cost me a bit more than 5 euros. It cost me like 39,500 guaranis, which I'm gonna calculate for you guys now live. It cost me exactly 5 euros and 26 cents, guys, for all of this. So, it's a good start. So far, I like it. And it's the best thing of it is that it's not a market or a place where, let's say, poorer people go to. It looks like a fancy place. Check it out. Inside a shopping mall, so yeah, let's talk into this. Provecho, hasta luego. I'll see you in a bit. Quite unlucky with the weather, guys. Just as I finished my meal, my delicious meal, by the way, it started pouring down. I've been in this region now of South America for three days, it's never been raining. Now it's pouring down. Right guys, I'm back in the streets here of Ciudad del Este. It's nearly stopped raining now. And, and yeah, what I can tell you guys about this city, it's a typical border town city, you know, full of commerce, full of clothing stores, tax stores, and casinos, such as this one. And I've been told, that in this city there's not too much going on and that's kind of surprising for me to be fair 
because it's the second biggest city of the country. Well, it seems to be purely for commerce. I've already been told this now by like three people, and it seems to be the case. Because to be honest with you guys, there's really not too much going on. And as such, I mean, don't take it personal, Ciudad del Este, or anyone from from Ciudad del Este watching this video, but I'm actually quite glad that I'm only here for a day. Tomorrow, we'll be exploring the real Paraguay, the heart of it. This is the third casino, I swear God, this is the third casino I've seen in this street. Crazy. And here we've got a massive Chinese apartment building, as it seems. Check it out. The defeats your Taipei. Taiwanese, actually. Sorry to all your Taiwanese. A massive Taiwanese building. Check it out. I reckon a defeats your Taipei, which means Taipei building. I reckon that this is a building where only Taiwanese people live. Because the city has a massive Taiwanese population just like a massive European population and a massive Brazilian population as well. Bon dia. <laughs> well, yeah, people here don't seem to be used to vloggers coming here. I mean, there's millions of travel vloggers these days. And I think this is still one of the countries, and this city especially, which hasn't been touched yet by that, in general, by Westerners. Because the country of Paraguay it's the least visited by Westerners in South America and one of the least visited in Latin America and being so close to the country I thought I couldn't miss out so this is my first our first new country for 2024 and another tax store guys I'll tell you what, if this was my last destination before flying back to Europe, I'll buy a new laptop here. Check it out, another tax store. Another giant tax store. Wowzers. This city. Wow. It's pure tech. I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you surely do. Here in Latin America, tech, all tech goods are super expensive actually. And this here is renowned to be the cheapest place to buy these things in the entirety of South America. And check out this massive building guys, wow. And it's the Taiwanese building again. The Lai Lai Center. Senor, una pregunta, ¿qué es eso edificio? Ser Lai Lai todo informático. Todo informático. Todo informático, todo es... Todo para la sesión para la Nobu, computadora. ¿Dónde es la entrada? Ahí la entrada. Ahí. Ok. Muchas gracias. Interesante. ¿Es taiwanese? Sí. Taiwanese, ok. Taiwanese. Y aquí... Hey, man, we've got two massive malls right next to each other here. Shopping, Vendome. And here we've got Lai Lai Santa. A Taiwanese... A massive Taiwanese mall only for, for laptops, for computer, for tech browsers. What a place. In the middle of South America. Back in the West, nobody knows about this place, I'm telling you. Maybe some of you Americans do, but us Europeans never heard of this place before. Buendia. I've already forgotten my only Guarani words that I learned, so that's a bit, a bit of a mess. Oh man, I can tell you one thing. The women here are hot. Wow, sis. the women here are hot. I've surely sat this in every country I've visited, but here, wow, sis. I remember my very first video on this trip when I was in Buenos Aires at the barber shop, when the barber said to me that in Paraguay the girls are super hot. I think it's right. War police. Well, it seems like everything's closing now. Everything's closing super early here. Check out. 
this place, guys. Wow, is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a 10 story building, actually. What is this? Well, I've been told by the host of my hostel that everything is closing super early. Hola, señor. Sí. Una pregunta, todo cerrado acá muy temprano, ¿no? Eh, hoy no abrieron luego todo, muy poco se abrió. Ah, ¿por qué? El 2 es feriado todavía. Oh, el 2 es feriado. Eh, right, you've heard the man. And now you know which date it is also. It's the 2nd of January at the time of recording. And apparently this is a holiday here in Paraguay. Didn't know. Didn't know this. So, yeah. This is why everything is closing earlier today. If you're living in South America and I need some tech, like a new laptop, new cell phone, new PS5, then I think this is the best place to come. <laughs> I mean, it's a 10 story building. Wowzers. And I reckon everything here comes fresh from Taiwan. I've never been to such a huge, gigantic moon in my life. Never. I've seen a lot of them. Gracias. Hasta luego. I've seen quite a lot of them, but not as big as these guys. It's just a pity that today uh, it's a holiday. Obviously, I didn't know that. This place definitely is heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. For any tech geeks out there, check it out, guys. I think we can already reiterate that if you are a tech geek, then your country here in South America has to be Paraguay. And the city that you have to visit is Ciudad del Este, the city of the East. Right guys, the guy in my hostel was right, the host. Everything that is open is starting to close down. So, yeah, I'm actually a bit annoyed now because I figure, I reckon, that this is the perfect place for me to buy a new SD card. Because I've been checking some prices in one of the stores that was about to close. And it's really a lot cheaper here than, than I thought. So, this is the perfect place to buy some new SD cards. And I'm a bit annoyed because tomorrow I'll be leaving quite early. We're a bit unlucky here in our only day here in Ciudad del Este with the weather, it's pissing down again and also with the fact that everything closes very early today because it's a holiday, I didn't know that and yeah, to explain to you guys a bit of the concept here of Ciudad del Este of this very very interesting city, this very notorious city it is that, it is like a duty free area at an airport basically the entire city has, is tax-free for foreigners. Not for people that live here and Paraguayans, but for foreigners that cross the border from Brazil or Argentina or any other tourists from around the world. It's a tax-free area. And this also applies to goods coming in from Taiwan or China or wherever in the world. So it's a very interesting place, a very unique place. A giant duty-free area. I've been told that I could maybe find an SD card over here in the streets. So let's look for it. Well, of course, everything is closing now. Man, I'm too much of a spontaneous traveler. If I had known that I would end up here on my trip, I would have scheduled it for the end of it. I do a lot of shopping before flying back to Europe. Right guys, 
guys, we have arrived at the kind of central square here of Ciudad del Este, the city of the east, the city of tech, and the city of cheap goods here, of good deals of Paraguay. And I have to watch out not to get overrun by the bus here. Yeah, so I reckon this is it. The city here basically is just full of commerce. It's a city of commerce, of pure commerce. It's full of malls per square meter. I guess the city has one of has probably the most malls of South America. And today, unfortunately, loads of it, loads of them are closed. So not too much going on. But yes, guys, this is it. Tomorrow we leave the city here, the Ciudad del Este, and head further into the country to explore the heart of Paraguay, South America's most mysterious country and least visited. So, I'll see you guys in the next one from Paraguay. Hasta luego, amigos y mis amores. Adiós.